Good afternoon and welcome to another of Tim's Tech Talk videos here at Venom Motorsports Canada. So today we're having fun assembling one of our Kodiak 125cc ATVs and I thought I'd take a minute just to examine the brake system that you're going to see here on the front end of the ATV. So when you're looking at the suspension assembly this is the brake drum itself and inside here we have brake shoes which are going to be acted on by a lever pulling back against the shoe forcing the shoe out against the brake hub itself here to produce a braking effect for you. So you might ask yourself well what does that look like inside? And this is it right here. So what happens as you apply tension through the brake cable you'll notice that both of these brake pads are thrown outwards. As they are thrown outwards they come in contact with the brake hub right here on the inside so they're pushing out they come in contact right here with the brake hub itself and this is what causes you to stop when you look at the assembly to dismantle or change the brake hub itself you need to firstly remove the castellated nut so you're going to begin by removing the, the cotter pin take the cotter pin out back off the castellated nut and this whole assembly then simply pulls right off of the drive axle so this shaft starts here, runs all the way through to here. And this whole unit just pops right off. Well, what happens when you have to put it back on? You just reverse the process. So put the brake assembly back in place. Put your washers in place. Snug up this nut. And you want this nut to be tight enough to front seat this whole assembly back against this little lip that you're going to find here on the beginning of the axle itself. So you push this up tight, ensure that you snug up this castellated nut, and always, please, for your own safety, make sure that you put the cotter pin back in. This will ensure that this nut can't back off and this assembly can't loosen up. That's all there is to it. Until the next time, enjoy the ride, my friends.